Hey guys, welcome to another Real Nice recipe from Real Nice Guyana. Today we're going to be making a pork curry. And these are the ingredients here. We're going to be cooking about 4 to 5 pounds of pork. I know that's a lot. But if you're going to be cooking less than that, which is likely, you can take along the ingredients here, which you're going to be using. But today we're going to be cooking this piece here which is huge so that there so this is a huge piece of pork it's about four or five pounds and we're going to be using these ingredients here so we have first of all two tablespoons of curry powder one and a half tablespoon of garam masala one and a half tablespoon of roasted ground jeera we have salt we have four tablespoons of blended garlic, two mariri pepper, optional, one onion, you have about two stems of celery, and about six stems of shallot. And that's it guys, for this delicious pork curry. So let's get started. So we've cut up the pork and washed it there. We've cut it up in sizes like these, your regular sizes. That's a big bone you have there. And now we're gonna go make the curry paste. That's the garlic. Curry powder. That's the roasted ground jeera. And that's the garam masala. Now the shallot is going to go towards the end of the dish. We're not going to be putting that in already. Okay guys, so to this pot here we've added about 4 tablespoons of oil. And we're gonna put our curry paste in there now. And this curry paste is usually cooked for about two minutes. To release all the aromas and spices in there and then we're gonna add our onions and our meat so now we're gonna add our onion and the celery and the pepper So if you find your curry paste is drying out, there's not enough water to begin with, you can always add some. So we're adding the pork now. So we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of salt here. Because as we said, this is a lot of pork. About four to five pounds. You're gonna stir that out. Right? So we have mixed in the meat there with the curry paste and the other stuff. And now we're gonna cover this and let it cook. It's gonna release its own juices. 
and then we're gonna dry it down with that and then we're gonna add water to boil it okay okay see you in a bit okay guys so it's been about 50 minutes now since we put this pork in here so we're gonna go check on it now should have released all its juices should be a lot of water in there and there you go that's what it looks like now after about 50 minutes so we're gonna give that a stir and let it cook down some more let some more of the juices go Okay guys, so seeing that this is a lot of uh, pork we're cooking here, it took a longer time to dry down the first juices that it released. So we're going to check on it now. It's been about half an hour. And that's it there. Most of the juice has dried down. So now we're going to add water to boil this now to the finish. We're gonna now add the shallot. So you're just gonna add enough water to just cover the meat. And then we're gonna cover that and let it cook until finished. Of course, you're gonna have to check it occasionally to see that everything is good. All right, so see you then, guys. Okay, guys, so since we added the water to this here, it's been about 30, 35 minutes, and this should be done by now. We have started occasionally, and this should be ready, okay? So we're gonna check. And there we have it, guys. Looking delicious, isn't it? delicious pork curry and as I said if you're cooking a lot less you're gonna need a lot less time for cooking it's gonna dry down a lot faster so you just gotta keep checking it so there you have it guys Diana pork curry so there you have it guys, another really nice recipe from really nice Guyana and that's the pork curry there. Let's dig in and have a taste. No me. Mmm. So delicious guys. So good. Now this pork curry here is so good. You can have this with rice, you can have it with dal and rice, you can have it with roti, whatever you like. So that's it for this recipe guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. When you do, you get notified of every video that we post to YouTube. So you don't miss a thing. Please share this video. And as always, thank you for coming. Take care until we see you again guys. Bye.